Well here we are at uh, Pentramau Park in Abergelly and I'm um, talking to Mark Earp, manager of the uh, Parks and Gardens Department. Mark, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on today? Yeah, the general idea is um, to celebrate the National Tree Planting Week. Uh, we do the events every year but we've, uh, with this year we opted to promote it and as you can see bring the schools in and get the schools involved in the planting and the education of trees and the need for them. Uh, we've got a number of voluntary groups have come down to advertise their, 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 their sort of areas, the wildlife and butterflies and, and so forth. Uh, we've got a couple of guys who are here doing some demonstrations on wood carving to demonstrate that once a tree is um, ceased from growing it can be reused and the benefits of reusing wood in the garden for the, the wildlife and so forth. We've got support from North Wales Police, um, they're assisting us in purchasing the teas and coffees and cakes from the local school as well. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, Mark. This is a group of uh, young children from Clandulla School who were planting a tree in Pentramar Park. A great deal of excitement going on. So just a bit of finishing touches here to the hole. Get it deep enough. Here I am talking to Simon O'Rourke who's a, a world-class uh, tree carver and uh, Simon's just going to tell me now, please, what you're doing here today, Simon. Well, I'm carving a bench, as you can see over there. Uh, we're going to have oak leaves, large-scale oak leaves spread all over the top and lots of wildlife underneath. Um, Excellent. Perhaps some rabbits, badger, fox, anything I can fit in. Got a lot to go on. Well, I'm talking to Ian Murray now, who's a, a chainsaw carver, and uh, basically Ian's here at the uh, day, and he's carving uh, various things. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing here? Well, here at the minute, well, it's a piece of old scrap oak, and I've decided to put a wood spirit in it. Oh, right. That's really interesting. So, as you can see around his face, it's all oak leaves, a couple of acorns at the bottom. It's not quite finished yet, anyway. And where do you come from? Dizzith. From Dizzith. It's Excellent. quite local, so... Yeah. Well, that's very good. Thank you very much for talking to me. Pleasure.
Well, I'm talking here to Judith Hughes, who's the uh, chairman of uh, Friends of Treborth Garden. Hello, Mrs Hughes. Thanks very much for talking to me. Could you tell me a little bit about Treborth Gardens? Well, Treborth is the botanic garden that is owned by the university that stands on the side of the Straits near the Menai Suspension Bridge. It's six acres of garden plus how, quite forgotten how many acres of woodland round it. And it's unique among botanic gardens because it has a shoreline. Um, we look after the students as the friends, we look after the students that Nigel lectures to from all departments, not just the ones that um, that directly are um, involved with conservation and ecology. And we have glass houses which the students can use. Trebeth is open to the public, it's free, um, so please come along and um, use it as your botanic garden. Well, it's amazing. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks for okay. talking to me. Right, I'm talking here to Anna Badesha of North Wales Wildlife Trust, and uh, I'd just like to ask her a few questions. Anna, what are you doing here today? And uh, tell me a little bit about the Wildlife Trust, please. Hello, David. Well, I work for the Wildlife Gardening Project, and I'm one of the Wildlife Gardening Officers. And this is a fantastic project. It's been running since 2002. And we go around schools and community groups helping and advising people on developing gardens for wildlife. So any sort of primary school or secondary school that wants to get involved, building an outdoor classroom, somewhere to grow vegetables and encourage wildlife so they've got a good teaching aid, they contact us and we'll go along, we'll survey the site, have a look at what they've got and help them to develop it specifically for wildlife. We've also worked with community groups. Churches are fantastic because graveyards make fantastic wildlife gardens. So we're always excited when another group from the church approaches us. The um, most important thing about what gardening for wildlife is not to be too tidy. Wildlife likes undisturbed habitat, so our aim is to encourage people to leave as much alone as possible and then to plant specific plants that will be suitable for encouraging birds, butterflies and insects. And you advise people on that, That's uh, right. you, Anna? Yes. It's, well, you know, it, whatever they want to um, encourage into their garden, we'll advise them on particular planting schemes, we'll help people put up bird and bat boxes and plant specific shrubs and trees for berries or plants for nectar. So that's what we can do. So anybody that needs some help, please contact us. OK, well, thank you very much indeed. You're Thanks for talking to me.